Jeremy Way Dell was a 15-year-old high school student from Richardson, Texas, whose name has become infamous due to a tragic incident that occurred in 1991. Jeremy's story is one that is both haunting and heartbreaking, and there are several creepy facts associated with his life and death. Jeremy was born on February 10, 1975, in Texas. He was a quiet and reserved student who struggled to fit in with his peers. Jeremy attended Richardson High School, where he was a sophomore in 1991. On the morning of January 8th, Jeremy arrived at school late and was asked to provide a tardy slip to his second period English teacher, Mrs. Judy Arnett. Jeremy then walked out of the classroom, returned a few minutes later with a 357 Magnum revolver, and said to Mrs. Arnett, Miss, I got what I really went for. Goodbye. He then put the gun to his head and pulled the trigger, killing himself in front of his classmates. Jeremy's classmates were traumatized by the event and many of them required counseling to deal with the emotional aftermath. Some even reported having nightmares about the incident for years afterwards. Jeremy's mother had no idea that her son was planning to take his own life. She had spoken to him the night before and had no indication that anything was wrong. After his death, investigators searched his belongings and locker, but were unable to find a note or any other explanation for his actions. After further investigation, authorities found out that Jeremy had taken the revolver from a female friend's father. They both went to the same church, and the girl recalled Jeremy handed her a letter before his death. That letter revealed to contain his suicide note. Jeremy's death sparked a national conversation about gun control and the need for better mental health support for students. Many advocates have cited his death as a tragic example of what can happen. When young people feel isolated and unsupported, what makes things creepy is that Jeremy's death was not the first suicide at Richardson High School. In 1985, a student named Richard Markham also shot himself in the school's cafeteria for unknown reasons. Jeremy's death inspired a scene in the movie The Basketball Diaries. In the film, Leonardo DiCaprio's character shoots a teacher and then himself, a scene that was based on Jeremy's tragic ending. The song Jeremy by Pearl Jam is also based on Jeremy Dell's life and death. The song was written by Eddie Vedder after reading an article about the incident in a newspaper. Several ghost hunters also recorded EVPs, or electronic voice phenomenon, from his grave. Before we end this video, I would like to thank you all who have subscribed. If you haven't yet, subscribe for more videos like these. In conclusion, Jeremy Dell's life and death were marked by tragedy and sadness the events that led up to his suicide, as well as the aftermath of his death, continue to haunt those who knew him and those who have learned about his story in the years since. While his legacy is undoubtedly a sad one, his memory has also become a powerful reminder of the importance of mental health awareness and support for those who may be struggling.